Sega. What up everyone, Feckman94 here, and welcome to the beginning of my playthrough of Sonic Unleashed for the PlayStation 2 as a part of 7 Let's Play 7 Days. Now a lot of you people are probably familiar with this game because a lot of because this it's actually kind of a recent Sonic game came out only about five years ago and I remember this is the one of the biggest Sonic games that I was hyped up for probably next to uh, generations but uh, yeah before I say any more let's go ahead and watch the intro Well, this is new. Showing remorse, Eggman? If you played nice, I wouldn't have to break all your toys. Gotcha! What?
been success. It's just as the Gaia manuscripts foretold. The entity that was sealed within the planet has awakened. Now I just need to harness its power. Eggman Land will finally come to be. <laughs> Didn't we already listen to this plan in Sonic Adventure? And after watching that stunning and beautiful cutscene, which probably took up half the space on the disc, we are now introduced to Sonic Unleashed for the PlayStation 2. Now, if you've played the Wii version, this version is pretty much the same, so yeah. We should have no problem getting into this game, if you, whether you played this version or if you played the Wii version. Um, there are a few differences between this and the Wii version, which I will get into um, later on. So anyway, let's go ahead and create a new file here. I don't even know why I have so many files on here. But um, one difference is that you can't pick your uh, me avatar or any character avatars. They're randomly selected for you. And Oh, I got Chip again. Brilliant. I mean, as you can see here, uh, for one I got Amy, which was my original one, and for my other one I got Tails, and I got four chips in a row, or three chips in a row, that's a lot. But anyway, let's begin the game. There we go. Alright. Ground to the face, Sonic. Harsh. Harsh. What the heck is going on? Oh, look, it's a beanie baby. Hey, are you okay? Oh, it's alive. It's not a beanie baby. Darn it. Hey, pull yourself together. I'd probably react the same way if I saw a big, furry, scary monster when I first woke up. Yeah. Oh, I'm just fine. Thanks for asking, Mr. Monster Guy. Mr. Monster Guy? Looks like things have gotten pretty ugly. Yeah, look at those teeth and those claws. What's your name, anyway? I'm Sonic. Sonic the Hedgehog. Well, you're not a hedgehog anymore. Huh? What is my name? Ah, I don't know. I can't remember. What? You forgot who you are? No, don't eat me. Don't eat me. Because <laughs> when you think about it, the way Sonic approached it is like, you don't even know who you are? Oh my god, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Maybe. Oh, why are you ta why are you asking me? What can I do? Where do I go from here? What will I uh, I'm hungry. Hey, don't worry. I'll help you get your memory back. Really? Do you mean it? Absolutely. I'm sure we'll find somebody who knows you if we look around. Oh, thank you. You're the best, Mr. Monster Guy. I mean, Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, hey, look, the sun's coming up. Mr. Monster Guy is gone! Alright, so we're already ten and a half minutes through the game, and we already watched two really long cutscenes, but... Yeah, so now... The next couple of me medals, le levels are just going to be... Little tutorials on how to uh, control Sonic, and also how to control him in his werehog form in the game. And the reason why I said medals instead of levels by accident is because... You actually receive medals as a little prize after you complete each mission, and you'll see... Oh, whoops. <laughs> you can press the X button to, to jump, yeah. My bad. I tried doing a uh, boost attack, which I'll show it off later, but... I'll show it off later. But yeah, just get to the goal ring and... Yeah, mission clear. And there's our moon medal. Now... If you remember from Sonic Unleashed on the PS3 or 360, or if you haven't played it, then well, forget it. But in that version, you actually collect those to unlock levels in the game by collecting them randomly that and are hidden throughout levels in the game. But the medals in this game, in this version, I guess I should say, you actually get them depending on how well you do in every level. I mean, in levels, obviously, you don't... All you have to do is just pass the level, but here you don't really use them to access new levels. You only use them to go and just get bonus items and stuff like that. Um, like as you can see, if you just clear a mission, you get one moon medal if you're in the daytime. But if you're in the nighttime and you're playing as the Werehog, you get sun medals. And now it's loading again. I really don't like the load times in this version, but I mean, it's the PS2, and this game's pretty late in the PS2 library, and it kind of does push the PS2 to its limits, if you can tell by how good it, the uh, graphics actually are for a PS2 game. And now here's Chip telling us about the... Oh, whoops. I spoiled his name. Oh, well. Whatever. Alright, come on. I, I know how to do a homing attack. Leave me alone. <sighs> and also, as you notice, I'm actually doing a lot of other moves, too, that I wasn't taught yet. Like, I'm doing the boost. I did the ground pound. We just learned how to do the drift. That's because in this game, you actually are able to do every ability before you're actually prompted to do a tutorial on them. So... Like in the PS3 and Xbox 360 version where you have to play about a little over halfway through the game to get the light dash, you can actually do the light dash from the beginning of the game, and I'll see if I can show that off later. But yeah, and also all of these missions are pretty much um, required, so... And there's some rings. Like, see, if I hit the circle button, I can do the light dash here, so... I'm able to do the light dash early in this game. And now it's telling me how to do the boost attack. Which also another difference from the uh, PS3 and Xbox 360 version. Except for the boost being uh, continuous. Um, where you hold the button and you can just boost until you run out of boost energy. You actually get boost bursts. Meaning that you press the circle button once and you... What ends up happening is that you just get a burst of speed. Which, meh. I really don't mind. Alright, so what's the next two? I think this next one's gonna be us sliding under places. Uh, yeah. Slide under ledges. And also, if you notice here, what I'm actually doing at the beginning is that I'm using the spin dash in order to get a boost at the beginning of the level, which you actually can't do in the HD versions, which I'm gonna refer to that from now on for PS3 and 360, and for Wii and PS2, I'll say like SD, like standard definition, but in the HD versions of the game, you can't get the same boost as you uh, can in this version of the game, where if you hit circle right before Sonic says go, you're able to 
start off the level with a little boost of speed and going fast instead of just walking. Like, I'll show you as soon as you, um, we start this next level coming up. Alright, and this one's gonna show us how to do quick step. Like, watch. We don't start off quite as fast as we, uh, did before. Oh, and I jumped by accident there. And, yeah, we're just learning how to do the quick step attack, which... Not hard. <laughs> and if you uh, mess up the uh, spin dash boost at the beginning, um, like you saw whenever I tried doing it in the first mission, you'll actually trip and fall, so... Yeah, you might want to be careful about that. Or just not use the uh, spin dash at all, because if you... Uh, are able to get yes continue playing if you're able to get the spin dash right you get the boost of speed but if you don't you end up tripping and lose like one or two seconds off of your time anyway the reason why it asked us to continue playing is because now we're actually going to start the first level in the game which is a potus daytime act one and you also get a little boost of um, boost energy one if you uh, use the spin dash too now remember in other Sonic games where you would mostly, um, you would get your rank based off of how many rings you'd get, how fast you'd do the level, how many enemies you beat? Well, in this version of the game at least, um, you get ranked by how fast you complete the level only, so it doesn't matter how many enemies you defeat, and yeah, I ran up against the wall, that's gonna hurt. It doesn't matter how many enemies you defeat, and what is wrong with me today? Holy crap. Or um, how many rings you finish the level with. It just depends on how fast you complete each level. Which hopefully I'm able to complete this level with an S. Because this is a very, very easy level. And I don't want to screw up. And also if you've noticed. This is, a this is actually all the um, sections of the level that we did of the tutorial. So yeah. And how the heck did I miss that ring right there? That's ridiculous. And I'm not going to get it. Yeah, I haven't played... I didn't even practice this game, so... Ugh. I'm not as good at it as I used to be. Even though I S-ranked all the levels. But, uh That was embarrassing. Anyway, you get the amount of medals in a level depending on your rank. Like, if you get an S rank, you get three medals. If you get a A rank, you get two. A B rank, you get one. And if you get a C, which is the lowest rank you can get, you don't get any. But again, you're not required to uh, get medals in this game. They're only for bonuses and stuff like that. They're just rocks. Is this what you usually look like? Yeah. This is the real me. Pretty cool, huh? Not cool enough to stick around, it seems. Where'd you go? Looks good, don't it? Looks good. Ah, oh, Dan Green never ceases to amuse me when he voices in a Sonic game. That ice cream guy is a prick. Oh, you can have it. No. You have it. No. No. Wow. This chip whatever stuff is great. You say so. How about you give me a hand and help look for somebody who knows you, Chip? Chip? Got to call you something, don't I? What do you think? Yeah, Chip. Chip. I love it. Yum. Now what do you say we start asking around and see if anybody here knows you? Okay. Okay, now let's move on to my least favorite part of the game. Now, here you could just, you're normally loaded up to the uh, hub world in the HD versions and you can go straight to the next level or whatever. Here you have to talk to all these people. 
which it's so stupid and it's so freaking long which is why I think that um, both versions of the game are equal in length to themselves because the the uh, levels in this version are shorter but there's so much more extra garbage that you have to do like talking to people in towns which you shouldn't have to do <sighs> oh no one's here great why did we come here in the first place all right let's go over here and I'm just gonna skip through all this dialogue I'm not gonna talk through it because I'm gonna have to do this in every town and it would take us forever if I read all this dialogue and this guy's basically saying, you want to go to the temple? And I'm like, yeah, sure, let's go to the temple. So now we get to go to the temple after talking to a million people. I don't know why we couldn't go there in the first place, but okay. <sighs> anyway, you could go straight to the um, level hub in the first game and not the first game the HD game but in the game here you go to the well, like I said again the temple and you can go and play the levels through there and if you saw the thing that chip picked up with the uh, Sun tablet the Sun tablet just lets us play the uh, daytime missions and daytime levels in a certain continent like there's other different types of there's other different types of tablets. You can get the moon tablet, which which lets you do all the nighttime stuff, and also the planet tablets, which lets you fight the boss. But since we have the sun tablet, we're able to open up the sun door. So let's go ahead and go and do some more daytime stuff, which I think. We do levels and then also we do some missions.